Technology and Livelihood Education, Information and Communication Technology. Our topic is Graphic Design Software, Types of Graphic Design Software, Raster-Based and Vector-Based Graphic Design Software. to learn we're diving into TLE it's your turn technology livelihood education so bright come on let's make it fun everything feels right The following are the objectives of today's lesson. Review of the previous lesson. 1. Which type of software performs specific functions for the user, such as creating documents or editing images? A. System software. B. Application software. C. Driver software. D. Programming software. The answer is B. Application software. 2. What is the main role of system software? A. Create web pages and databases. B. Connect hardware devices to the internet. C. Coordinate the functions of hardware and software. D. Design graphic elements and animations. The answer is, C. Coordinate the functions of hardware and software. 3. What type of software is required for hardware devices like printers and game controllers to function properly? A. Programming software. B. Application software. C. Middleware. D. Driver software. The answer is D. Driver software. 4. What is middleware mainly used for? A. Translating computer languages. B. To mediate between different software or operating systems. C. To edit and save documents. D. To display images and videos. The answer is B, to mediate between different software or operating systems. And number 5. Which type of software helps developers write, test, and debug code? A. Application software. B. System software. C. Programming software. D. Driver software. The answer is C. Programming software. What do you notice about these two images when zoomed in? Which one looks blurry? Which one stays clear? Have you ever seen a pixelated image on your phone or computer? What you just saw is the main difference between raster-based and vector-based graphic design software. One uses pixels, and the other uses paths and shapes. Today, we'll dive into how that works and why both types are useful in different ways. Our topic is Graphic Design Software Graphic Design Software refers to computer applications that enable users to create, edit, and manipulate visual content for various purposes such as marketing, branding, social media, web design, and printing. It helps users design posters, logos, brochures, infographics, web banners, product packaging, digital illustrations, and many more. Types of graphic design software. The graphic design software 
is generally classified into two main categories, based on how the graphics are created and edited, the raster-based graphic design software, and vector-based graphic design software. First is the raster-based graphic design software. The raster graphics, also called bitmap graphics, are made up of a grid of pixels, where each pixel has its own color. Raster-based software edits these pixels to modify an image. It is ideal for photo editing and working with detailed images. The key features of raster-based graphic design software. It is best for photorealistic images, allows detailed photo manipulation. Images can become pixelated or blurry when resized too much, supports file formats like .jpg, .png, .bmp, .tiff. The following are examples of raster-based graphic design software, Adobe Photoshop. Industry standard for raster editing, used for digital photography and digital art, GIMP. Free, open-source alternative to Photoshop, Photop. Web-based tool similar to Photoshop, Pixor. Online photo editor for quick edits, Krita. Great for digital painting and illustrations. Another type of graphic design software is the vector-based graphic design software. Vector graphics use mathematical equations to create shapes like lines, curves, and polygons. Unlike raster images, vectors are infinitely scalable without losing quality. Ideal for logos, illustrations, and designs that need resizing. The following are the key features of vector-based design software. It is best for logos, icons, typography, and illustrations. Graphics remain sharp at any size, smaller file size for simple designs. Supports file formats like .svg, .ai, .eps, .pd. Here are the examples of vector-based design software, Adobe Illustrator. Industry leader for creating vector graphics, CorelDRAW. Popular for signage and print materials, Inkscape. Free and open source vector editor, Affinity Designer. Affordable Illustrator Alternative, Gravit Designer. Web-based and user-friendly for beginners. Here are the comparison of raster-based software and vector-based software. Here is the easy way to remember the raster-based and vector-based software. Letter R for raster, which means realistic photos, and letter V for vector which means versatile shapes. The following are the things to consider when choosing graphic design software. Before selecting the right graphic design tool, ask yourself the following, 1. What do I want to create? Example, photo edits, logos, brochures, websites. Dot. 2. Will the design be used for print or digital purposes? 3. Does the design need to be resized without losing quality? 4. What is my budget? Free tool, monthly subscription, or one-time purchase? From you answer you can now choose the software. Remember, raster software is ideal for photo editing and detailed visuals. Vector software is best for scalable designs like logos and illustrations. Some tools like Canva and Affinity Designer offer hybrid features, raster plus vector. A time to remember. This is Teacher Mylene. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.